In this video, I'm going to tell you guys some things about Creatures of Sonaria that I'm sure 100% of you did not know. Or maybe like 95%. Fact number one. In the lore of Creatures of Sonaria, the Angelic Warden actually cur- Oh god. Please no, I just got- I just eldered this very clear. <laughs> In the lore of Creatures of Sonaria, the Angelic Warden actually created the Opera Legion, and it could also see through the Opera Legion's eyes as if they were cameras. But that's that's just the lore, it's not like real. But it actually might be pretty awesome if Angelic Wardens could see through the eyes of Opera Legions. I don't know if Angelic has any eyes anyway. Speaking of Opera Legion, Opera Legion's name actually comes from the Pokemon Basque Legion, and the Opera Legion is actually meant to resemble a true biblical angel, which is why it has so many eyes on its body. Fact number three, and this is actually a very interesting one. Carvaratus' head is actually this little arm over here, the left arm. As you can see, when I move my mouse, it doesn't move anything, it just moves this arm, right? It wasn't supposed to be its head, but since it has no neck, they couldn't find a way to make the head move like when you turn your camera. So now this little arm is basically your head in like the actual game. And whenever you type a message, that's why your bubble chat appears on top of this little arm. That's, that's pretty much your head in game. The Vahayarx is actually a leech creature, and it was mainly inspired by that. So yeah, this isn't a little cat like a lot of you thought. You can you can literally see a leech coming out of its mouth. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. A lot of you probably didn't know this, but Creatures of Sonaria has everything already planned, like the future updates. The players know about the upcoming updates, the latest. The process of creating a creature is spread out to two months. So the new creatures that just came out last Friday, they were probably already planning to add it or started working on it the month before. We don't know. Creatures of Sonaria developers probably already know what creature they're likely gonna release in two months from now, and you might think that's a bad thing, but no. There wouldn't be a lot of excitement if we already knew what the creatures that are coming out in a month would be, so yeah. The smallest creature in Creatures of Sonaria, the Alkaxu actually weighs 800 pounds, which is the weight of 2 to 3 lions. This little fact changes your whole perception of creatures in Creatures of Sonoria, because as we play, tier 1s and tier 2s look like tiny little creatures, when in reality, they are probably bigger and more dangerous than any lion or any crocodile. So yeah, the, the tier 1s in Creatures of Sonoria would be apex predators in today's world. Speaking of big creatures, I measured this in a video that I did before, but this is actually what a Caldon Terrace looks like next to the Statue of Liberty, accurately measured by Elasmo. Bruh. Did you guys know that Jeff is the size of a human, like a real life human? This Jeff over here, which is like a very tiny creature in Creatures of Sonoria, is the accurate size of a real life 6 foot human. So hold on a second. This is what a human would see in Creatures of Sonoria. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty tiny actually. This is also from that same Statue of Liberty video, but I had to add this in for the people who didn't know this. So, in Creatures of Sonoria, there are like over 300 creatures. We have like every animal you can think of. I don't know, shark, pufferfish, bird. But we don't have an octopus, or a monkey, or a snake. Sturby doesn't count, which enrages me because these- hey, where'd I go? Oh. Which enrages me, because these are such common animals, and uh, I don't mind the snake one, because snakes can't really be added to creatures of Sonaria, if you guys don't know. This is a little mini fact, but if they create snakes that are like on the ground, they will barely be able to climb. Like, imagine like an opera legion without legs and it can't fly or swim. Like, it would just be like, on the ground, straight. It would be very weird, it would be so hard to use. Sigmatox and this Gunifron over here have light green blood, right? This is actually a real life blood color for some animals, so it's not even like a weird thing. Like, I know it's weird if you imagine like green blood coming out of an animal. But this reptile species called the Prasinohema actually bleeds green, which is, uh, uh, it's not as crazy as you think. Because simply, they just have some green things, organs, I have no idea, in their bodies, which basically dyes their blood to become green rather than red. Now this is just a little fact that a lot of people probably already knew, but 
Creatures of Sonaria was actually called Creatures of Agartha, and then it was renamed to Creatures of Sonaria, but it actually had another name before that. It was called Dragonoria. Now that's the part people really don't know about, but when the game like started getting popular or whenever like they started releasing the game, they just named it Creatures of Agartha, but it was called Dragonoria. I think at the beginning Creatures of Sonoria was just supposed to be a little like testing playground for a dragon. So they called it Dragonoria and then they were like, you know what, screw it, let's create a creature game. Lucentia, which is actually arguably one of the most cool looking creatures in the game, is actually the weakest tier 5 in Creatures of Sonoria. This creature has terrible stats, um, along with almost no abilities. Some tier 3s I'm pretty sure can actually like tank this Lucentia. Like, why can a tier 3 beat a tier 5? Yeah, and the tier 2 Aaron Noah can even take it. Tier 2 can tank a tier 5. And to end this video, I just wanted to tell you guys, you gotta try Aaron Noah at some point. It's like a tiny creature that deals 400 damage and bites fast, and it weighs like good, it has good health, and it's so fast, and deals 3 bleed per bite. Subscribe for more facts.